Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. We could go back to using this one because we're on, we no longer have daylight savings time. So it's about 3 o'clock, give or take a little bit. It is November 3rd, Monday, 15.4 degrees centigrade. Look at that, my batteries are all charged up. See that, the sun's beating right on them. This says it's over 100 degrees. Uh, because the sun's beating on it. That one says it's 91 <coughs> degrees, right? I think you guys can see that. Anyway, so what am I up to today? Um, a few different things. First of all, recoil starters. This was a uh, $40 eBay deal. Um, strings broken. I checked the spring looks like it's good. Looks like it's got the dogs and the butterflies. So I just have to put a string on it. $40 recoil starter. Whenever I see them at that price, I just pick them up. It was 40 bucks delivered. I like that a lot. Um, so that was first of all, let me kill this radio. Um, because I don't want YouTube shutting, shutting the video down because the radio was running. The procedure. Okay, but Ma. All right. You guys could see that I dragged this thing up and out. Um, yeah, the mice decided to live in it for a while. This is as far as I've gotten with it. I uh, put the mats down over here and started to put the last piece of siding up. But I let the drills get cold so all the batteries were dead. So then I had to charge all the batteries. And given that my ADD was kicking up and I noticed that air conditioner that used to be in there, I started working on air conditioners. There was one there that's not there anymore. And there was one over here where that hole is, that big hole. Um, it's not there anymore. And um, and there was one in the shed that I told you about. So there's a bunch of the crap from that. So um, let me show you what I did. I got a piece of paper with numbers on it that I've probably already lost again. Nope, still got it. Good. So, the hoard is loaded with various items that normally when I start scrapping them, scrapping them, I try to do it all at once. So, this time, you guys could see it here, it was air conditioners. Right? This is full of those radiators, and I weighed them out. And it came up to be, I think, about 55 pounds of radiators. So, if that's the case, that's about 38 bucks worth of radiators, I think. Those are just plain old electric motors. And, which is about 8 bucks worth of electric motors. And this is compressors. It's about... 140 pounds worth of compressors, which I think is around 28 bucks. So, I think I'm gonna have a scrap day. So I got this stuff, and then I got all the metal from the air conditioners. Um, I don't know, 100 pounds. 200 pounds, call it $10 worth of metal, give or take a little bit. So, I'm hoping to have a good day tomorrow at the scrapyard. Yeah, this is all the metal from the compressors, or from the air conditioners. So there's quite a bit. Anyway, I'm hoping that I have a, um, like a $75, $80 day. 80, 85, $85 would be a nice day. So that's what I've been up to today. 
um, before I call it a day, you can see it's starting to get dark earlier, right? No more daylight savings time. Before I call it a day, I'd like to um, finish screwing the um, that piece of siding on. Um, I'm getting ready to start loading up the shed. You guys could see that I got the um, I got the mat laid down and everything else. Yeah, it was about time I had a um, a good day working outside. I've lost the last couple, and by the way, now that I got the pellet stove fired up, it's like 100 degrees inside. My wife likes it hot. I like it cold. So uh, I'm going to have to go in there and turn off the pellet stove, and then in like four hours it'll be cold. So... I don't know. That's the bad thing about this time of year. It's hard. It's hard to have the heat just right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start putting bikes in here. I'm going to consider this side of the shed. Back up a little more. This side, kind of the uh, more of the dead storage. And this side, more of the functional storage, more of the stuff that I want to be able to get in and out of here easily. And I, I have to tell you, I really would like to capture the space under the deck with a similar situation to this. That way I could, um, you know, just roll bikes, tractors, whatever, right underneath that and, uh, and, and keep, keep stuff nice and dry. The only problem is the, uh, the wife isn't, isn't really seeing it. So she's going to be a little cranky about that. Well, she was cranky about this thing. The um, that guy is going to go over here for the time being. So now I'm going to have a load of space over here. When I put the tractor back in, I got to see exactly how much space. But it wouldn't be a bad thing if a couple of um, if a couple of the three wheelers snuck in here, you know, even if the uh, back tires were were off and it was um, you know one with the back end that way, the other one with the back end this way, and I think the tractor will still fit in. I must obviously I have to do some work on this place. It's beginning to fall apart. You know, nothing lasts forever. I would also um, like to get this stuff cleaned up um, and start <coughs> making better use of um, what's going on up, up here, right? This too, like this guy here is all cracked, right? You can see it's cracked. And if I had any use for this cart, I would be using it. So I'm thinking I should get it down, get it out of here. This cart too. Though this wouldn't be a bad cart for for like um, just pushing around uh, tools on or a welder or something. I should get it out of here and put it to use like that. Then I got a lot of space from here up to the ceiling, right? It's got to be close to four feet for tires or whatever. The um, bad thing about this shed, though, out of all the sheds, this has to be about the mousiest. I have a lot of trouble with mice in this shed. Some of the other sheds, when I put them up, this shed wasn't originally here. It was against the house. But the other sheds, when I built them, I threw a bunch of mothballs underneath. I made the frame and then threw mothballs on the ground quite a lot. And that seemed to help. That seems, even as the years have passed... I can go in the shed and there's a faint smell of mothballs and the um, and the mice seem to stay the heck out of there. So you guys could see I'm all over the place. Um, my ADD obviously is wide open but even with that I got a lot done. I'm, I'm happy that I'm gonna have a load of um, scrap look at the back of the house 
with everything on it. Um, then I'm going to have a nice load of scrap to get rid of, right? Homie likes that kind. Um, I'm going to try not to. Um, last time I went to the flea market, there were some... Um, Um, mini bikes there um, particularly frames and I don't know what one should pay for a mini bike frame um, it seems that if you try to put one together with eBay parts and tires and all that but it seems like if you get something where you have two tires on it that hold air the bearings are in halfway decent shape <coughs> and then you, you know the frame could be used it, it seems like it's a hundred dollar eBay item so if one gets it for, I don't know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, a mini bike frame, that's probably not a bad deal. And then one could slam an engine onto it, one that's an engine that's floating around, and uh, you can have a nice toy to, uh, to beat around the property. Um, another toy, right? Just what I need. Um, anyway, so I'm going to try not to spend the money there, right? I'm going to try to... <coughs> Just dump and not bring home, but we'll see what happens. Okay, folks, thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Keep keep up the watching, commenting, and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Um, remember to keep your feet down, keep your, your head up. Um, live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Hort. Remember, between now and then, enjoy all your days. You don't know how many you're going to get, so make sure you enjoy them. Take care now, folks.